Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and you can have a little sneaky preview of a game that's coming out uh, next week, I think it is. Who knows what the time is anymore in these crazy lockdown days. It comes out on May the 7th, so yeah, is that next Thursday? Uh, it's Lonely Mountains Downhill, comes from uh, Thunderfall, so thanks to those guys for a review copy. Uh, it's going to be £17.99. I've not got the uh, dollar price to hand, but I'm guessing it's going to be $19.99. Somewhere around that month. Seems to work out right. So, have a very quick look at this one uh, as I get stuck into it. Got the code today. Had a little go of it. Uh, if you don't know what this is, it's a downhill uh, BMX biking game or mountain biking game. Where you make your way down the mountainside. Um, plenty of shortcuts to take as well. So, low poly art style. And uh, see if you can get to the bottom of the mountain. If you can, loads of stuff to unlock. And uh, sounds if that sounds easy, then uh, it certainly isn't. There's a great deal of challenge because the uh, the speed of your bike is really fast, and you have to make kind of split second choices when you um, first open up a new trail to take on. You get a, a chance to run it. Um, to kind of learn the layout really, but then from then on, you're sort of uh, against the clock. So holding down ZR to, uh, to accelerate, ZL to break. This here's a little shortcut here, you can follow the path. Or you can take the shortcut, skidding around. I first saw this game uh, last year at uh, EGX Race in London. It was uh, running on the Xbox at the time, but I spoke to the uh, guys at Thunderfall. Oh, I was uh, running to a rock. Uh, I spoke to the guys there. And uh, they were excellent as ever. And uh, I kind of started begging for a switch port then, which they didn't exactly com confirm and commit to, but it was uh, confirmed not long after that this game would, would be coming to the switch. But it's been out quite a while, I think, on uh, Xbox and PC. A good number of months. Just love. Oh, where am I going? <laughs> love, love the uh, low polygon art style. It's just such a chilled out game. There's no music, and I love that. Whoa! Um, just love the noise of the bike, the birds, the wind. Hear some waves in the distance. It's just such a great game. Artistically, the presentation is great. It runs brilliant on the Switch as well. Whoa! Oh, he's still alive. Um, yeah, it runs really nice and smooth. So, really, really impressive, Paul. Been, this is one of the games I've been really looking forward to. One of the big indie games that's been on my radar all well for the last year, really. I say all year, but since you know April last year at EGX, it's just perfect for the Switch. Uh, so let's try and finish this run. Then we'll have a quick look around the options. Some of the other stuff you can do. Oh, uh, it's a shortcut, but I'm not going to survive it. Uh, so the game is about you know getting down the mountainside as fast as possible, but also looking for those shortcuts um, that you know those little diversions that you can take whoa oh no he's dead he's definitely dead <laughs> he's definitely dead um, for so for like speed runners I'm uh, gonna absolutely love this uh, I think there's a leaderboard we're gonna go and check that out in a sec oh break um, but yeah, what a, oh, just, isn't it perfect for the Switch? Sprint by holding down the A button. See the scenery's changing a little bit now. As we get further down the mountainside, it's less um, less aggressive, the terrain. More green, got more trees, which of course, nice to look at, but brings with it their own hazards. Not least they're blocking your view over the handlebars. Um, yeah, not least blocking your view but also of course a hazard themselves that you can run into as you probably gather by now as I've done it a few times instant restarts um, but yeah really game demands your attention Ooh, and demands your skill there's a couple of different ways oh there's a shortcut uh, a couple of different ways to control the game you can either just uh, use the, or the analog stick left and right or the pad left and right to steer the direction you're facing. I found that really confusing after a few goes. Oh, that's a shortcut there that I didn't take. Um, 
Yeah, so this control method is basically point the left stick in the direction you want to steer uh, on the screen. So, you know, you're not, it doesn't really matter too much about what way your rider's facing. You're just pointing the analog stick in the direction you want to go. Oh, all the way back to the start. I have a couple more runs. So I do intend this just to be a quick look before I launch the full review uh, in a few days. Missed, definitely missed a big shortcut there. Just that skid in action is so satisfying. Oh, it's going to be really tricky. One more go. I think there you go. There's, there's your review right there. One more go. And that's exactly what this game is all about. Can you do it? You know, can you do the little section faster, cleaner? Can you just get to the end of the run, really? So I hope you like looking at this one. So we're going to, uh, if we can drag ourselves away from it, we're going to go back to the menu. If I can. Uh, let's have a look at the menu and just have a quick look around some of the options that you've got available for this one. But as I say, hope you like the look of it. Um, it's out May the 7th, as I say. Um, I think it's up on the store now to pre-order. It should be, as the uh, as the codes were given out. So you can see here along the top, we've got uh, mountains. So they're the, the runs you can do. Look at the top of the screen now, um, tabbing through with the button. You can unlock different bikes to customize, and you can customize your rider as well with various unlocks. Plenty of different stuff to unlock there. So it's gonna keep all you unlockers happy. Uh, progression, got um, achievements to unlock, which is pretty cool. And then, thankfully, there are oh, leaderboards, which is great news. So it's going to be awesome to uh, to rank your time against the world, but also against your mates. Really cool. So that is a very quick look at Lonely Mountains Downhill. Uh, May the 7th. Let me know what you think below. Drop me a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, leave me a comment if you've either played this one elsewhere or you've been waiting for the Switch. Looking forward to it. As I say, it's the perfect game for the Switch. Really, really got that pickup and playability. Uh, so let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching. And I will see you all on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.